For more tutorials, videos, and reviews, check out creatingtracks.com. Hey guys, welcome to creatingtracks.com. And last week we made this preset using Massive. So check it out. Okay, and this time we're gonna use some effects to make this blend in a lot better with our beat. So let's go ahead and solo this. And inside of this, I'm gonna go ahead, double click on these notes, and let's select these bottom uh, half, second half of these notes, and copy and paste them. So edit, copy, edit, paste, or Command C, Command V, and use the up arrow to move it up seven half steps. So that's gonna be over here and check it out. And this is what it sounded like before. All right, now we're gonna use some of our audio effects from Ableton, but before that, this is what it sounds like with the beat. Cool, so let's grab an EQ8, place that before our sidechain compressor, and I'm gonna use a low cut or a high pass and cut everything below 200. And check it out. Sorry about that. And also turn on the high cut or low pass and bring it to 15,000 hertz. And if your sound is going in the red zone, make sure you bring your master volume down in massive. All right, so now let's go ahead in our effects, audio effects in the audio effect rack and go to performance and DJ. And then we will pick a fade to gray. So knob one, fade to gray. And you can see it comes with this one knob and this is what this knob does. So let's click on this black button over here and double click on ping pong delay and change it to one. And now if I play it, so we'll change this ping pong value to one. And what happens is every time we take this all the way up, our overall volume is also decreasing. All right, to fix this, we're gonna go to our audio effects and grab a utility, place that after the fade to gray. And what we want is to affect this knob and also the utility knob at the same time using one knob. So for that, we're gonna group all of these effects. So let's go ahead and select one of our plugins over here and shift select the last one and we'll do right click and group. So now everything is inside of this instrument rack. So on the left, we have this instrument rack. Let's click on these two black buttons and open those up. So we have our macro over here and we wanna map our fade to gray and our utility knob to this macro. So let's right click on the fade knob and map to macro one and then right click on this gain knob and map to macro one, which is now called fade. So now you can map that, right click on this macro name, and then rename that to whatever you like. So I'll name it effects. And when this effects knob is at zero, you can notice that my fade is also at zero, but my gain over here is at minus 35. And I wanna fix that. So let's go ahead and click on this map button on our instrument rack, and you can see that when my macro is all the way at zero, I want my gain to be at zero. So let's change the minimum value to zero. And when my knob is all the way at max, I want the gain to be up by 10 dB or eight dB. So let's change it to that. And now if I click on map again and I move this knob, you can see that my gain is only moving by eight dB. All right, so that is very cool. 
And another thing you can do is blend this in with your lead much better. So right now, if I play all of this together, you're gonna notice that it sounds pretty crowded. So they both have a lot of treble in them and that's why they're clashing right now. So let's go ahead and grab an auto filter, place that on our instrument rack or after the instrument rack. And I'm gonna automate this frequency. So right click, show automation. And here we can see this red line that represents our frequency. So let's click on that and slowly raise that. And this way is gonna be much quieter in the intro and a lot softer and then slowly get brighter. And I've done the opposite automation in the acid lead. So it's slowly going down in its first half. And another thing you can do to make this sound a lot more blended in is add a simple delay and place that before the compressor. And we're gonna bring down the dry wet a bit and change it to three and four. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel for a lot more. And we will see you next time. Peace.